today we shall learn class 10 english poem how to tell wild animals so children before we enter uh, into the poem i would like to give you here an introduction to the poem so the poem is how to tell wild animals and that is written by carolyn well in the poem the poet carolyn well has explained the characteristics of various wild animals in a very funny way she has used language in a way that it generates humor she is introducing the reader to various kinds of wild animals like asian lion bengal tiger bear etc explaining each of the animals in a very humorous way so children so let's enter into the poem and the poem goes like this if ever you should go by chance to jungle in the east and if there should to you advance a large and tawny beast if he roars at you as you are dying you will know it is the asian lion so this is what the first stanza so if ever you should go by chance to jungles in the east and if there should to you advance a large and tawny beast if he roars at you as you are dying you will know it is the asian lion so dear children tawny means here your is brown color the poet is telling the readers that how they can recognize various animals in the jungle of the east so in the first stanza she says that if the reader comes across an animal whose skin is yellowish brown in color and if it roars at him so strangely that he can die out of fear it means that he has encountered an asian lion she has humorously explained the asian lion which could kill a person with its roar so dear children if you are there in the jungle and if you listens the roars of a lion and that is what the roars of the lion is very terrifying or very frightening if those who are weak in heart once if he or she listens the roaring sounds of the lion no doubt his heart will be choked and will die there in the spot so this is what about the first and the children's next we shall proceed to our that is second stanza okay okay children the second stanza or if sometime one roaming round or if sometime one roaming round a noble wild beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground just notice if he eats you this simple rule may help you learn the bengal tiger to discern or if some time when roaming around roaming around a noble wild beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground just notice if he eats you this simple rule may help you learn the bengal tiger to discern so dear children noble noble means yes 
high born or aristocratic and you another one is another word is there you have that is discern discern means recognize so the poet explain an animal that roams in the jungles and belongs to a royal clan the color of its skin is yellow is with black stripes she says that if you notice that he kills you and eats you off then this means that you have surely seen a bengal tiger royal bengal tiger this time also she has used dark humor to explain how a tiger looks like because once a person has been eaten up by a wild animal there is no use in determining which wild animal it is okay now we shall move Uh, to stanza three, it is calling for the beast you view, whose hide with spots is peppered. As soon as he has left on you, you will know it is the leopard. She will. do no go to roar with pain he will only laugh and laugh again so dear children some words are there here in stanza 3 there is strolling strolling means walking casually for for means forward hide h i d hide hide means skin of animal and paper it means here it means the spot spot paper paper it spot is there here like the black paper left left means left that is jumps towards someone so children the poet says that if you are casually walking in a jungle you will meet an animal who has skin with spots on it this animal is so fast that it will leap on you at once which means that it will jump on you this jumping is an indication that it is not other than the leopard moreover she adds that if you will cry out in pain it is not going to be of any use and it will keep on jumping on you so in this stanza the poet has explained the characteristics of a leopard so children now we shall move to stanza 4 so see here if when you are walking around your yard you meet a creature there who hugs you very very hard be sure it is a bear if you have any doubts i guess he will give you just one more caress so children Y A R D yard yard means backyard or the lawn area of a house. Caress means a gentle touch. So children, if you are walking in the lawn area of your house and you meet a creature who is hugs you tightly, it is a bear. See further adds that. If you are still in doubt regarding the animal the easiest way is that he will keep hugging and touching you very gently this act of his will make you sure about its identity 
and you will come to know that that is a beer. Children, now we shall proceed to stanza five. Though to distinguish beast of prey, though to distinguish beast to prey, beast of the prey, a novice might none plus. A novice might none plus the crocodile you always may tell from the hyena thus. Highness comes with merry smiles, but if they weep, they are crocodiles. So children, distinguish means here, differentiate beast of prey, any animals that haunts other animals for food, they are called the beast of prey. Novice, someone new to a job, someone very new to a job is novice. None plus be confused. Be confused. So children, the poet, the poet Caroline Well says that for someone who is new to the job of recognizing animals, it will be like a puzzle to recognize animals that haunt other animals for their food. So here the poet tries to help out the readers by telling the difference between two animals. He says that hyenas will be smiling whereas it is a crocodile, it always in tears. Both of these animals are dangerous. So this is what Caroline while tells about hyena and the crocodile by differentiating the two. Now children, we shall move to next stanza. The true chameleon is small, a lizard, sort of thing. He hasn't any ears at all, and not a single wing. If there is nothing on the tree, tis the chameleon you see. Tis the chameleon you see. So children, the true chameleon is small. A lizard sort of thing. He hasn't any ears at all. And not a single wing. If there is nothing on the tree, tis this chameleon you see. So children, the poet says that the next is chameleon, which is a small creature. Uh, it looks like a lizard. But the difference between the two is that chameleon does not have ears and wings. Moreover, she says that chameleon has the ability to change its colors according to the surface on which it is sitting. Therefore, if you see a tree and find nothing else on it, then it must be a chameleon sitting on it. It has changes colors into the color of the tree. So dear children, this is all about the poem How to Tell Wild Animals by Caroline Well. And I hope it will help you. But children, I want to tell you here the complete summary of this poem how to tell the wild animals. So children, the summary of the poem, the poet is describing the various wild animals. These animals are very dangerous and she has introduced them one by one 
in a very funny way. First of all, she tells us about an Asian lion. She says that if you are visiting the jungles of the east and there you see an animal which has stony skins and he roars so loudly that you will die out of fear. This means that you have seen an Asian lion. Next, in the line is the Bengal tiger. That she explains to be a royal animal that at once attacks and kills a man. She says, <clears throat> by adding humor, that if this beautiful black striped animal kills you and eats you, then you have surely met a Bengal tiger. After this, she says that if the reader met an animal that has black spotted skin and it at once jumps on him, then it means that the reader has met a leopard. Moreover, she says that if one will cry out, of, out in pain, it may be of no use as the leopard will non stop attacking him. Then she moves unto the bear. Then she says, will hawk very tightly. This is the way to recognize a bear as it kills a person by hugging him very tightly. So she says that the bear will continue to hawk us tightly. And that is the only way to recognize him. After this, she asks questions to the readers that do they know how to recognize beasts that haunt their prey? Here she explains about hyenas, which she thinks have a smiling face, and the crocodiles that have tears in their eyes. This can be seen when they are killing their prey. The last one in the list is the chameleon. She says that it is a lizard like creatures which does not have ears and wings just like a lizard. Only this can help you differentiate between a lizard and chameleon. She further says that the chameleon has a quality of changing its color according to the color of the surface. So, to explain this, she says that if the reader looks at the tree and if he can only see the tree, this means that there is a chameleon sitting on it which has already turned its color to brown just like the branch of the tree. So children, this is all about the poem How to Tell Wild Animals written by Caroline Well. And I hope it will help you a lot. God bless you children, read well, study well.